And now we want to add our sconce lighting in the hallway here. We're just going to add some lights along the side. Uh, let's go up and click on our lighting tool. And let's switch over to be a wall mounted sconce light. And we are in the level one floor plan. We're noting the height. And let's go 1800, six feet off the ground. So we can just kind of crawl along here. Notice it's, it is, um, this one will go on a vertical face, okay? But I could also say place on work plane or place on face. Like I said, it's always good to open up these families ahead of time and have a look at where, uh, how they're hosted. Okay, light there. So we have all those lights. Now let's put those in a circuit. Um, let's just grab them using my control button. Oh, I got the wrong object there. Shift to remove, control to add. We can move them around a little bit later too. Not a problem. I see some stray lights in there I need to delete. So we grab all those lights and we hit, we can either hit power or switch because they're not in a switch yet. Let's add them to a circuit. Okay. And again, if we want to just add our wires in there. Now let's add, a, maybe add a light switch. I don't know if we want the sensors on this one, but let's go back to our scape there. Um, let's go to a device here and let's grab a light switch. And let's pick one off of here, single pole switch. Add that switch there. Okay, escape, escape. Pick on this light and say switch. And pick the switch and it propagates that out. Now I can say hover, tab, wait till it says switch circuit, switch system edit switch system, add to it, and I can crawl along and add my sconce lights. Just because they're wired doesn't mean they're in the same switch system. So just moving along. Now this is going to be, we probably would want another light switch or use the sensors over here. So we've added those all in and we've got that, okay? And we might also want to put a switch over here and tie that in. So um, there's our lights, our wiring, our circuits, our panels, and our switches and switch systems, and our wing over here on our level one. Some information showing up on the ceiling plan, some information showing up on the floor plan, and a few lessons on different hosting methods that we have. And there's Definitely lots of different light fixtures. You can go download different light fixtures off the internet and go get like light fixtures from actual man manufacturers that have the proper loads and all the right, um, you know, um, materials and the real light, an actual model light that represents the light that will be used on the construction site, as opposed to these, which are a little bit more generic. So. Depends on how much detail you want, but you can definitely get some lighting families off the internet from the manufacturers and then use them in here. But you want to probably have someone have a look at that family and make sure it's got the right connectors and all that good stuff. Lighting information, lumens and, and, uh, and load information. So that's it for our electrical lighting project in our Revit 2017.